What is going on guys? Welcome back to Carefree Lewis G and after two free months of pure chaos the transfer window is finally shut and for us it's been a bit of an iffy transfer window we've seen player after player get rumoured for us we've seen player after player not sign for us we've had we've got rid of some players some players have some players departures have been a bit iffy about it but in this video I'm gonna rate I'm gonna rate the transfer window and I'm gonna look at the pros and the cons of it so starting off with the negatives obviously you've got to start with Matic going to Man United I think we handed them the league title that was the last piece in their puzzle they just needed a good defensive mid and we just handed it to them but uh, it's something that's already happened now and I've more or less conceded the fact that I think United are favourites for this league title. I'm disappointed that he's gone to United. I feel like we could have sent him off abroad. But that's the first con. The second con is just inability to sign players, taking forever to do it. Pissing about with Alexandra until, Al until Bonucci went to go to Milan. And then Juventus just refused to sell him to us from that point on because they weren't going to lose their two best defenders in the same window not taking advantage of Sanchez obviously wanting to leave we had the chance to sign Oxlade Chamberlain but he decided he wanted to be a centre mid that's his decision he's I don't think he's going to make it in Liverpool's team but you know what some people make mistakes that's his decision I couldn't care less he's not Chelsea and he was never Chelsea so not much else to it but yeah, my main con is that my main con with this transfer window is that we haven't strengthened anywhere. We've just replaced. We've had Matic replaced with Bakayoko. We've had Rudiger replaced. We have Rudiger replaced Zuma and Terry. We have Caballero replacing Begovic, and we've got Morata replacing Diego Costa. So thinking about that, it's. Like we haven't we haven't strengthened a single place and I feel like we still needed to strengthen. Obviously we've signed Zappa Costa, but I'm not going to say anything about him until I've watched him play. Louis said a lot of good things about him, but I'm I don't know anything about him, so I'm not gonna judge him. But that also leads into a positive because yeah, we've replaced all these players with other players and we haven't strengthened anywhere, but we've replaced them with younger players. So you can say that maybe in the coming years, they could turn out to be even better than the players they've replaced. Maybe Bakayoko will become better than Matic. Morata could become better than Costa. Rudiger, I'm I'm not gonna I'm not gonna go out there and say he could become better than Terry because I think Terry's the best centre back in league history. But I think he could still become a very good defender. Caballero, he's a second place goalkeeper. So there's not much I can say about that. But if I had to rate this transfer window, I'd probably give it a see because again the signings have been pretty good but we've been a bit lax with act with actually signing marquee players we haven't had that marquee player it could have been Sanchez I was pushing for Mares, but nothing's come with that uh, do I think we'll win the league not this year maybe next year if we if we continue to make the right signings but it all depends on what happens in this season we can contend we have the starting 11 to win the league but I don't think we have the I don't think we have the entire team. And that's what Manchester City have and that's what Manchester United have. So we're just gonna have to see how this season goes. Guys, remember to please like and subscribe to Carefree Lewis G. And I will see you guys very, very soon. Stick around.